And we're back. This is the Field of 68 After Dark. We are streaming on YouTube. We are streaming on Twitter. If you are on YouTube right now, please hit that like button and jump in the comments. Join us. We are in the chat. Uh, we're also on Sirius XM channel 84. That is the ESPNU station. We got to talk about Duke, guys. They went into Louisville and knocked off the Cardinals 74 to 65. A.J. Griffin, 22 points. Uh, he, I, it felt like he shot 17 for 17 from three. I think he ended up five for five. T.O., you know a thing or two about shooting. How important is the emergence of A.J. Griffin for these Blue Devils? It's huge because he gives them a consistent three-point threat, and that's something they haven't. They've kind of had, but not really had it every game. He's proved that he can be that five of five, and he's never. It's it's weird. It doesn't look like he's ever really set. His feet are really wide. He shoots the ball over his head. It's kind of strange. He was really really good. The guy that means the most to this team, though, I think was pretty evident today, is Mark Williams. Like that guy defensively changes the game. Uh, Duke got off to a 24 to 11 start. He gets two fouls. That's when Louisville makes the run, gets back in the game. More he's in foul trouble, obviously, the more it helps. I like Theo John, but he isn't the same rim presence defensively and offensively for that matter. The only way, yeah. the only way Duke doesn't advance deep in the tourney is if, again, A.J. Griffin has an off-shooting night and they rely on that perimeter shooting, right? Yeah. Like, because they have too much. I mean, they, they have enough that one guy can have an off night and it doesn't really matter. And again, I want to see Mark Williams get involved more. But Paolo is terrific. Wendell Moore does a good job. You know, now I think Roach is in the starting lineup, but he'll go back to the bench, give him a little bit of depth, and they can play eight to me with Theo John and Joey Baker coming in, depending on the matchups when you need him. But Listen, this Duke team, I don't care what they do from now till the start of the tournament, as long as they're healthy when the tournament starts, you're still going to like them because now, like T.O. said, they got a sniper in, in A.J. Griffin. And, and yeah. another thing, too, this was a small thing. Sorry to interrupt you, Doster, but over the last five games, uh, Jeremy Roach, He's 33 assists and yeah. four turnovers. He's been great. Did I take that from you? Did I yeah, take that that's from you? What, I'm I was so about sorry. to make that point. <laughs> I got this stash right here. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. I'll let no, you. Yeah. I'll let you re-say it. Sorry. Well, I, I look. Jeremy Roach is kind of limited, and he is what he is. But the fact that he's able to initiate offense and kind of get things going and the, get the ball where it needs to be without giving it to the other team is important when you have guys like AJ Griffin and Paolo Bancaro and Wendell Moore and Trevor Keels and like, everybody else can score on this team. What they need is somebody to set them up. And he's never going to be, you know, this all-American elite NBA caliber or whatever. Doesn't but, have to be. Yeah, he doesn't have – I mean, he's he's doing a very good job at the job that he's asked to do. Uh, and it's kind of – it is what it is with him. But I, 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 I'm – I was worried about it. I, I think he's done a pretty good job um, at this point. Do you keep him – so here's my question to you. Do you keep him starting? Because that he has been so good and now solid there – and do you bring Keels off the bench? I, I think it might help him in a way. I, I honestly like Keels off the bench more because he's like a he's a bucket, right? Yeah. Like he comes in and he changes the game with the way that he can score. He changes the way that you have to defend. I always like those kind of instant offense dudes coming off the bench. The same way that you can bring someone like an LJ Cryer off the bench yeah. if you're Baylor. You know, so I, I like Trevor Keels in that role a little bit more. Their best five is with Trevor Keels on the floor. I don't think that you have to have your best five out there yeah. for the first minute of the game. Hell no. So I – not I kind of, I, I, I kind of like it. 